I didn't have any. But Paige, once again, thank you very much for your request. You made me think and I could actually just say, Paige, I'm sorry, I don't have any goals for 2021. The end. But again, you made me think. So thank you very, very much for that, for making me go beyond my little bubble. And I did come up with two goals. I could formulate them as goals, even though the ideas were not necessarily intended to be goals, but this is a great opportunity to put them out there and have hopefully more people hear what I would like to see happen. And I will make it a goal of mine this year, see what happens by 2021, December, mid-December, if anything has come of it. And that is the idea of the Care Collab videos where if somebody has an orchid that I have, reach out to me and I would reach out to those channels as well, vice versa, if I see something that they have. And then ask if they would be interested to do a care collab video where we post the channel links, we post the video of the same orchid we're doing and we post on the same day. And we mention the channels and we do all that good stuff in and around the care of one specific orchid. The idea is to be able to find different care circumstances in different environments, in different setups, different hemispheres for the same orchid in one shot. Whether somebody finds my video, there could be three links in the description with the same orchid in a different setup, different environment. And whoever was searching for the care of that orchid basically has the whole choice of options and possibilities for one orchid instead of then having to go and look further down the line and maybe research more. I'm looking at channels, I'm watching videos and I'm seeing your orchids. And if you have an email, then I will write an email to you and ask you if you would be interested. Or if you don't have an email, then I would bring it up in the comments. And of course, this is not something that everybody wants to do. Everybody has a different approach to their channel, a different angle. They have their schedules, they have their routine with regards to my orchid is in bloom. Now I'm going to talk about it. And I fully respect that. And all I want to say about that is that if an orchid is not in bloom in my climate, what if it's in bloom in Australia? But we're doing a care video at the same time on the same day and people can see how an orchid grows in different hemispheres. So it's not necessarily for my case to reach out to you when you have an orchid that is like mine to have it in bloom. I'm actually doing several care collaborations already. There, there are some in the works. We just need to determine a date and I may not actually have blooms out yet. But that doesn't matter. I'm going to post the video on that day anyway, because somebody else might have blooms out. And then there's a comparison if somebody else goes down into the links and checks out the same orchid elsewhere. Now, I would like to see that grow and that in 2021, it kind of becomes a norm. And again, this is not just about me collaborating with other channels. This is about other channels who have the same orchid as another channel and has nothing to do with me because I don't have that orchid, then reach out to that creator and ask, hey, you've got that orchid, so do I. This is not about Ninja Orchids needs to be in every single care collab. It's just an idea that I had when, when even when I'm researching an orchid or something, normally I go to some, some blog posts, like I like Travaldo a lot, but you know, then you got orchid species, but you're opening pages, you're opening pages to see what, where is their comparison. You don't see much of the variety of setups. There's only one specific way in any of these researched areas that you find information on. They only speak of one way. And if I were to tell you about my Alexandria and Polysema, how I grow it in my preferred method of LECA and self-watering, well, that might not be for you. Maybe you're interested in organic media growing in the classic way, but you don't know how it would react, how the media mix would be, and in which climate. Or you see this orchid on somebody else's video and say, well, no, I grow in a different setup. I grow in organic. And then you see my video and you go, oh, okay, but you've been, you've hit one video 
And there you find a selection of several different options. And that is what I would like to see happening in 2021. And it is my goal, if you would like to call it that, to be like sort of the instigator to initiate this incentive and this concept by me reaching out to the channels that I watch and asking them, would they be interested? And I hope that that is going to be of interest for the viewers as well. Maybe discover new channels, the small channels. And I consider myself itty bitty, but there's channels that are even smaller than me and they have fantastic content. And maybe there is something that we could get a snowball effect going by doing these care collab videos together and give the viewer something that they can look forward to even though they're in a different climate. There may be actually nuggets in those care collab videos that help right at that moment without having to waste time looking all over the place. Now, clearly, we can't cover all the orchids that are out there, but we can sure make a dent because why not? I don't know how many orchids everybody grows. I have 300 plus. Yeah, a lot of them are the same genus, but that doesn't matter. When you talk about a specific orchid, you talk about just that orchid. And if I then next to that, somebody has a Dendrobium Roy Tokonaga, right here, mine is in spike and in bud, then it doesn't matter if my Alexandre has the same care that I give it as my Roy Tokonaga. The person searching for Roy Tokonaga doesn't know that. So it's not like repeating a video after a video it's, it's bringing all the orchids that we have in common together and consolidating them into one search and one video with lots of links on the bottom. And when I say lots, I know that there's also a situation about coordinating time and date. Now, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on which side you stand on, I have plenty of time. And I can do my filming and my scheduling of my videos because I don't, I'm not employed and I'm so flexible with regards to everybody else's time and would then work my way according to their schedule. Now that's how I would do it. But that is what I would like to try and achieve. It is what I'm going for for 2021. Care collab videos with as many channels as possible and especially I'm going to go for everybody that is, has a lesser sub count than me who is interested. Now I cannot do an Oncidium care guide, for example, of a Shari baby. I don't have one, but somebody else has a Shari baby. Why not reach out to whoever has a Shari baby if you have one and say, can we do a care collab together? Now, if you have a Colmenara Masai Red, woohoo, I'm in. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's not just because I have an Oncidium type or alliance. Let's do an Oncidium alliance video. For the time being, I would like to really, really focus in on a specific orchid per video of a care collab. And then if it takes off, my goodness, who might want to join in to do a care collab of an alliance from all around the world? That could be something we could see and do based on how this now manifests itself throughout 2021. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I don't want to insert myself into anybody's channel I'm talking orchids here, and I'm talking being able to make care collab videos that consolidate the same orchid under different circumstances, different setup, different environments. I would love, love to see this take off. A second thing that I have planned for a long time already, but let's make it a goal. I can include that as a goal for 2021 while we look at Epidendrum Renemarkis crossed with Brassavola Digbiana. Gorgeous! Is to go on camera. I am camera shy. I don't like to be in photographs and this, that and the other, but I am not camera shy to the point that I'm trying not to show myself on purpose. That is not who I am. It is a phase I have at the moment because of the circumstances of the past years, they are written all over my face. I don't want that to be documented. I don't want to have to look back in one or two years and remember what I see in my face. And that is the only reason I didn't, from Jump Street, go on camera 
with my channel. This is not me about, oh, I want to stay anonymous. I'm not, you know, my name is Nina. That's not what it, that's about. It's me protecting myself from hopefully one, two years down the line when I look back, I don't want to have flashbacks of what is written all over my face. And that is the only reason I'm not going on camera, but I'm mentally gearing myself up in order to say, look, one day you're gonna do it anyway. So it's like a little internal pep talk. But I need some things to be right because the eyes don't lie. And there is no way I'm going on camera if I can recognize something in my eyes that I don't want to actually see or be reminded of. I hope that makes sense. But it's definitely something I'm, I'm working towards in my mind. And I sincerely hope that when the day comes, we are going to have a really good laugh. <laughs> um, yes, that, that is the plan for me. I don't have any inhibitions of going live on camera or doing videos showing my face. It's just what is in my face at the moment and in my eyes that I personally don't want to see in the future if I look ever back if I ever look back onto my videos you may not be able to recognize that I will and I don't want to so I hope you understand where that's coming from but I'm I'm prepping myself rah rah re go Nina <laughs> you know you can do this it'll be fine don't worry you know you're overthinking things etc so that is my second goal, is to get on camera, but not have the traces of my past in my face. And I didn't even say hi. I just went straight in. So I thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate that you took the moment to have a little listen of what I conjured up as goals, despite them not really being goals. They were somewhat in the works already. But let me put it out there. These two are now officially goals, and now you know. So I really look forward to making this happen, especially the first one. Really, really targeting the first one. I would love it if I saw other creators do videos and all of a sudden I see hashtag care collab on my screen and I'd be absolutely thrilled. I'm like, I'd be, yes is going to work this is going to be good so thank you very very much for your support thank you Paige for your question you have a certain talent of getting into my head and making it sort of expand a little bit more thank you I appreciate it have yourselves a wonderful day everybody stay safe take care bye <music>